Hey guys, Nika from Tech Duo. In this video, we're going to install Unraid on our ESXi server. Let's go. All right guys, so I have a Dell PowerEdge R430, and this little server has two and a half inch drives, and I wanna pass those through on the server so that I can use them at, for the VM, of course. So uh, the per controller that is in there is an H730 Mini. And if you guys have any cards or anything that's involved with your servers, you are gonna have to do a pass through mode. And in order for it to pass through on Unraid, you're gonna have to set it into IT mode or HBA mode if you want to see each individual drive. So in your BIOS, depending on your manufacturer, you can look these up online and find them. Just head to the BIOS and make sure that it is set into HBA mode. The RAID is turned off um, or IT mode. There are a couple different names for it. But once you get that going, we can head over to ESXi. We can then set the pass through as active and then reboot the server. Once you reboot the server, that card is gonna become available for any VM that you wanna give it to. So after that, let's head over and download Unraid. Once we download Unraid, it's going to give us a little GUI and that GUI is going to uh, take a USB drive, it's going to format it, install Unraid and get that prepared for us as a boot device. So after we plug that USB into our server, we're gonna go over to the PlopK exec website. I'll have the links down below so you guys can click on that. Go to the website, hit that download. From there, you want to extract the files. You're going to have to extract twice. You're going to get the plopk exec.iso. And then let's head over to ESXi and browse to our data store. Once we do that, we can upload the file directly to our data store so that we can use it for the new VM. After that's in place, we can head over to the VM area, create a new VM, give it a quick name. We're going to select Linux, and then we're going to select Ubuntu 32-bit. From there, you're gonna see the server configurations. You're going to set the CPU and the RAM to whatever you wanna allocate for the VM. Make sure that the RAM is set to reserve mode because once the PCI Express card is added, it's going to just cause a conflict. It won't start properly. So go ahead and just set that. For the hard disk, we're gonna set it as the default, which is just 16, but you can set it as little as two gigabytes if you wanted to. I just left it as is. From there, scroll down to the ISO, the CD area, we're going to select data store ISO and then browse over to our plopk exec ISO. Select that. From there, we're gonna go back to the top, click add device. We're going to add the USB device and we're gonna add the PCI device as well. So once they're both added, you will see that it's gonna pass through the USB, it's gonna pass through the PCI, which is your controller. So let's start the VM now. Once the VM starts up, it's going to go into the plopk exec ISO it will then see the USB drive and it will start the Unraid server. The Unraid server is going to boot up and you're gonna see the entire process. Once it's finished, it's going to give you an IP address. We then browse that IP address and we're in Unraid. Once we're in Unraid, it may ask you for a trial key. You can go ahead and click OK on that or enter the key that you purchased. So now you guys can see all of your drives. You guys can select your parity drive, your cache drives, and everything that is connected to that controller. We're gonna go ahead and click start. And once it starts, you'll see the parity start building. And depending on your drive size, depending on how many drives you have, it's gonna take a different amount of time. I only have one terabyte drives currently in my system, and that's gonna take approximately uh, two to three hours. I'm gonna let that run, and then from there, I can start dragging, dropping files into the system. Once I, of course, create the shares and, and so on and so forth, but that's it. So we have Unraid set up. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully it was informative for you. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below in the comments, like, and subscribe, and enjoy your day.